Hi. Now, in the previous example, we have created a simple uh, Excel VBA app which simply pops up a message box saying hello world. Now, we will go on to a more uh, practical application uh, now, okay, where we have to okay, do something like this, write a program to calculate and print the net profit. Now, to calculate the net profit, we know that it's sales minus cost or you can call it revenue minus cost. Okay, so what the program we have to do is to take in input okay, of the sales and we have to take in input of the cost and we will output um, the profit which is simply sales minus cost. Okay, now to do that, okay, we will once again we will go back to our code editor and then we create a new uh, method called okay, calculate it okay and enter okay so you see there's a line break distinguishing our methods okay so the first thing is we have to take in take in the inputs which are okay cost and the sales all right okay so to take in input we can do something we have to declare a variable first to contain the sales amount okay this we call it sales. Okay, close to. Now, what we'll do is we'll pop up an input box for the user to enter the sales amount. So, input, okay, box, okay, and then we'll enter what should be the prompt title. Okay, so enter total sales here. Okay, okay. Now, next is we have to declare a variable. To contain the cost. Now, variables are simply uh, things where we store data in, so that we can later manipulate it or to print it, uh, etc. Okay. We have the first variable sales, which contain uh, the sales data. Second variable, the cost data. Okay. Similarly, we prompt user to input the cost. So, please enter. So let's see what uh, all this does first. So we can click on the run button. So it enter sales. Okay, key in let's say one hundred dollars. Click OK. The cost fifty dollars and voila, there you have it. But so far we haven't done anything. We have just asked the user to input. So current to do it. So this part will be calculate profit, which is simply sales minus cost. Okay, so we declare another variable called profit that equals to sales minus cost okay cost now take note that the variables here have to match exactly the variables over here okay if not if let's say it's for example cost okay now this and this will not work okay they're referring to two different variables so please take note now once we have cal calculated this okay what we need to do one more thing is that we have to output this to the screen so to output this okay output to screen now to do this we can use the message box which we have used earlier so message box okay and we can say that so profit is okay so over here okay, let's put a space here over here profit is we put a n n percent logo to sh to what we are doing is we are joining this message okay together with this variable okay so I'll enter the variable. Okay, and there you have it. Right, let's try how this works. Okay, run this. Enter sales 100. The cost, let's say, is um, 20. Now your profit would be 80. Okay, so there you have it. A more practical Excel VBA uh, application. So to summarize it all, we have declared a method okay, called calculate net profit. We have declared two variables, sales and cost. We have asked the user to input them using the input box. We replace the for we put in a formula with sales minor cost to be assigned to the profit variable. And finally, we output it to screen. So of course, you can take it further and uh, create other applications that create more complicated, you that use more complicated formulas. For example, uh, amortizing loans, or calculating area or volume or some complicated formula that can think of. 
Okay. 